for the lovely bunch of class 12 students hi today i intend on walking you all through what your 12th grade english course of the cbse curriculum has to offer in other words at the end of this presentation i hope i have given you a sense on what to expect from the course and the way i plan to teach you that you perform extremely well and successfully complete your final year of schooling since this is an introduction class the slides in this presentation are heavy with content this is solely for summarizing the topics for your upcoming courses as a part of your online schooling to repeat the forthcoming classes are going to be much easier with focus on specific topics welcome to the session i'm kushi your prep school english teacher the structure of my presentation will start with everything to do with your prescribed textbooks, examples, question paper pattern, your syllabus and duration, your valuation and assessment as well. Remember, having all these in mind will come in handy during your course. With this, let us see what are your prescribed textbooks. These are the NCRT published textbooks for you, Vistas and Flamingo. Both of them are easily available in the store and also you may get it online too. Of course, having a hard copy is any time better. To give you a little more insight about the difference of these books, Vistas is a literary oriented book and Flamingo has got a variety of content like prose, poetry, fiction, non-fiction, autobiography, etc. Both of these have got few exercises for you. But children, just for the sake of scoring marks, don't buy these books. Having them read in detail myself, I watch that the content of the books are enjoyable to a reader. So note that Vistas and Flamingo are the two textbooks for your 12th grade. Going to the specifics of what is the portion that you need to cover up? This slide includes everything. Broadly, it is categorized into reading comprehension, literature, writing skills, speaking and listening. Remember, all these are of equal weightage and equally important that you cannot be skipping. To repeat, understand your syllabus, reading comprehension, writing skill, literature, speaking and listening. Here is something most important for you, your examination pattern. For you to easily recollect, I have separated them into writing and your assessment of speaking and listening. Students, I need your attention here. When I say writing, it is your annual examination wherein you will write sitting in an examination hall a CBSE set question paper for 80 marks. And when I say your assessment in listening and speaking, it is a school based assessment. Just like how you have your practicals in biology, physics and chemistry, your school teacher is going to assess you for your speaking and listening skill for 20 marks. I hope I have made it clear. You will have writing wherein you will write your annual examination and your internal assessment. For example, I am your school teacher. I will assess you for your speaking and listening for 20 marks. Now both put together, you will be graded for how many marks? 100. And anything above 90 to 95 to 98 or 100 also, that's a challenge for you and that is the testimony of your success. By saying this, let's look at how does your examination question paper look like. This is your question paper pattern. Earlier I told you examination pattern wherein you will have writing and an internal assessment right. Now I am going to touch only your writing part. If you look at the question paper pattern it is divided into three parts section A, B and C. Now all the sections are carrying equal marks. That means to say that they are equally important. Children, at the end of the presentation, you will find a link. Make some time to go through it. 
I have attached the previous year question paper. Probably if you go through it, you will find that it is just the reflection of the class you have sat today. Also, I want to mention at this point of time, no matter however hard you have prepared for your examination, but if you don't put that hard work in writing in your answer paper, all that you have studied goes down the drain. It's very natural that the student gets tensed, he gets uh, anxiety, he gets very nervous while see being seated in the examination hall. The pressure that uh, builds in him or her uh, tends to forget whatever he has studied. My dear children, believe in yourself, learn your time management, read the question paper thoroughly, understand the question, mark all those questions which you are not okay with and keep it to the last to answer but never skip any question. Leave enough line space, underline the keywords and present your paper well. Don't go to decorate it too much. Lastly, remember before giving your paper, check, check and recheck. Don't get panic. Walk to your examination hall in confidence. By saying this, I repeat your question paper. You need to make a note that it is into three parts, A, B and C wherein you'll have reading comprehension, your writing skills and your literature. Let's see how does your section A look like. Most of you are familiar with such a section. Now to recollect, let's understand what is comprehension. It involves reading of a paragraph, understanding the paragraph and answering to the questions related to the paragraph. Your questions could be multiple choice questions, objective type questions, short answer questions or comprehensive questions. And your paragraph could be descriptive or factual, it could be a poem or it could be a fiction or an article. So that is comprehension, reading and answering the questions. Now, what is note making? For example, I am the speaker and you are hearing to me. Alongside, you are making few notes, isn't it? That is exactly what note making is. But in the examination, you will not have a speaker, but you will be reading a paragraph and making notes according to the format prescribed by the CBSE. That format I will be teaching you in detail when I am taking this section A in a different session. For today, you need to understand that your section A is into two parts, reading comprehension and note making. And for how many marks? It is 20 marks. Your next question will be, ma'am, is it possible to score 20 on 20? My answer to you is an optimistic yes, you will definitely score 20 provided you read between the lines, understand and then you answer. So that being section A, let's move further to check out what is there in section B. This is your section B. You will say, oh my God, ma'am, we know everything here. Yes, as CBSE students, you are very, very familiar with all these topics. It could be notices, it could be advertisements or letter writing or speech or debate. Now, what is so important in your class 12? That you should not be lazy. When I say that, you should put all that interest to write your skills, your ability in writing, to show it in a way that you will get this complete 30 marks. Am I being clear? By saying this, all these topics will be taught to you in detail. Just have a look at your section B. It is comprises of short and long compositions and you will have a variety of topics here. Moving on to your section C. Let's see how does your section C look. It's everything to do with literature and it's for 30 marks. 
This is where both your textbooks Vista and Flamingo will come in hand. Dear students, you need to thoroughly read all the chapters so that it is simpler for you to attempt to this section. What are you going to do in this section? You will be answering to the questions. It could be short answers or long answers or very long answers. How are you going to answer? How are you going to opine? How are you going to paraphrase it? How are you going to comment? That is exactly what I will be teaching you in your further sessions when I will teach you your chapters separately. For now, you need to know that section C is your question and answer section. You will get questions of one mark, could be two mark or could be six marks also. Am I being clear to you all by saying this? I have told you all your section A, B and C is your writing part of your annual examination and it is for 80 marks. To reconnect you, do you remember I had told you your school based internal assessment for 20 marks? This is exactly what it is. This is what your school teacher is going to assess you on your speaking skills and on your listening skills. This slide might look a little overpopulated but it is pretty self-explanatory and for students like you, you give a little pause and understand what is speaking, what are the stages over here and what is your listening, what are the tasks here, you will understand what is meant by assessment of speaking and listening skill. Yes, surely in a separate session, I will be telling you how to go about your speaking and your listening skill. This is your final part of the presentation. I shall be summarizing how your academic year will look like. These are few of the assessment what you will be taking. Your periodic test 1 and 2 along with your half yearly exam is school based. These are conducted in the school solely for the purpose that you prepare well for your final exam. At the end of the academic session, you will be writing your annual exam and that is for 80 marks for which your internal assessment marks will be added. So totally for 100 marks, you will get your score sheet. I hope students, you got me right. Before I let you go, here are few of my suggestions. Since I have written it all by myself, I wouldn't want to read it again. Please make some time later, pause the video and go through. All I want to tell you is, give 15 minutes time every day for English learning. This will self-motivate you. You will get accustomed to the methodology of learning. Believe me children, having taught the subject for so long, it's only your daily effort that will help you to perform better. By saying this, I wouldn't want to be your teacher, rather I want to be your mentor. Let's build a relation of warmth. Let's walk the path together towards success. Since our interaction is all online, feel free to reach me in this link. I'll be posting the assignment, the question and answers and answering to all your queries too. Here's wishing you all the best. Aim not just to pass but to score high. This will separate you from the rest. See you in my next session, Tiger King. Until then, all smiles. Bye-bye.